Okay, now we've got everything down on a plane so that this object is being viewed pretty much from above. And once more we see that if we take a flat strap and run it along this plane until it hits, run it along the plane of the fundamental object until it hits the paper, it hits somewhere in the vicinity of this point. We can do the same thing in a slightly different direction, find that it hits in the vicinity of this point and similarly this point. These points do not appear to lie along a straight line but there's some uncertainty in the whole process of line laying this flat and extending that point so uh, we'll leave that as an open question whether these actually make a straight line. Now what we want to do is uh, again we've talked about our first fundamental vector 4i minus 2k second fundamental vector 2j minus 0.4k those will be the vectors that run along uh, this edge and this edge of our fundamental object. And I suppose before I move this I should say that I've estimated the coordinates of this point to be 10 units this way, 5 units this way, and if we want to go to the point at this corner of our fundamental object we've got to go up 5 units so that the coordinates would be 10, 5, and 5 and we've estimated the coordinates of this point as well to be about, well, what did we estimate? I estimated about 16 in this direction, 11 in this direction, and of course this point is on the plane of the paper so that the third coordinate, the z-coordinate, is zero. I've written down all the relevant information here. I uh, haven't noted that this is 4 and this is 2.7, but uh, we kind of remember that from before. Now, the coordinates of the point that lie above this point are 10, 5, and 5. Uh, the coordinates of this point are 16, 11, and 0. Vector running from the origin to this first point, which I'm going to denote, uh, of course, 10, 5, and 5 denote x, y, and z coordinates of the point, and we're going to call those x0, y0, and z0. So uh, our point, uh, the vector from the origin to x0, y0, z0 is just 10i because we start at the origin we've got to move 10 units in this direction plus 5j uh, moving from the x-axis we've got to go 5 units in the y direction plus 5k and we're going to call that vector I probably should have labeled that to the uh, other side of the vector but I'm going to call that r sub 0 so there's a vector we're going to call r sub 0. And I want to ask now what are the uh, components of the vector that runs from here down to this point. Okay. Well, we're running from the point 10, 5, 5 down to the point 16, 11, 0. So that the vector from the origin not, not from the origin, now there's a little bit of an error, from the uh, x naught y naught z naught point to the point that we're going to call x1 y1 z1 and we've labeled this x1 y1 z1 1611 0 is what? Well if we start at 10 and run in the x direction to 16, we've moved 6 units. If we started at y coordinate 5 and run up to y coordinate 11, that's going to be 6 units in the y direction. And if we start at z coordinate 5 and go down to the uh, z equals 0, that's going to be a change of negative 5. And we're going to call this vector um, R1 
equals 6i plus 6j minus 5k. So again, we think of the origin uh, being over here someplace, a vector from the origin up to our x naught y naught z naught point, and then a vector from the x naught y naught z naught point down to 16, 11, 0. And here's one of our vectors. Here's the other vector.